we are going to review how to use the Amita Platinum Breast Pump. It's one of the two Amita Breast Pumps that we have in the Chova system. Um, so first thing I want to do is go over the parts you're going to need or the, the supplies you'll need for a mom that is breast pumping, whether for a child eating currently or for a child that is in PO that we're storing the milk for later. So the first thing you're going to need is the Amita Breast Pump Kit. It's in the OmniCells in all four pods. The other things you'll need would be a pink bin, the bath basin bin, labeled with a permanent marker that it's to be used to clean the pump parts. You'll need packets of soap. You'll need disposable washcloths. You'll need bags of snappies. The snappies come in bags of 10. You should be giving the moms full bags at a time. They should be pumping at least 10 snappies a day. Um, and all of these supplies can be found in the breastfeeding, breast pumping supply bins that are located with each set of breast milk fridges and freezers. There's bins above each uh, fridge and freezer set. Um, so for a mom that has never used a pump, some moms have never used a hospital grade pump and some moms have never used a pump at all. Um, so they may need some instruction on how to use this. You can always refer to the quick start card that is usually attached to the breast pump. There's also a copy of the CHOA Breast Pumping and Breast Milk Storage uh, Education Tip Sheet. So when you take the pump kit out of the bag, it's a dual pump, so it comes with these five ounce bottles. There are some pieces in here that must be intact or the pump won't work. You have the valves right here that come off. They must be washed after each use and then inspect it to make sure there's no splits. If there's any cracks in the valve, it won't work. This is the breast pump flange. When you pop this plastic piece off, this is the diaphragm. Again, the diaphragm must be intact. If there's any holes or cracks, it's not gonna work. So it gets placed in the top. The white piece gets snapped on. You'll hear it snap. And we ask that moms pump into snappies because it's just easier. So you can take a snappy, pop the top open, and it will attach directly onto the pump kit. If the mom is pumping large volumes of milk, she may prefer to pump into these larger bottles because they hold five ounces versus a little over two ounces. Um, and then you can just have her pour the milk into snappies. So you attach your snappies the end of the tubing goes into the hole in the front of the pump. The mom will either use a hands-free pump bra or hold the flanges up to her breasts. You turn, this is the power button, it's been worn off on this pump. Press the power button on. The pump automatically starts. It has a timer. Mom should be pumping for 15 to 20 minutes at a time every two to three hours or as often as their child eats normally when they're well. The pump's gonna start with a high rate of speed and a low suction. This stimulates the action that a baby makes to help stimulate milk letdown. So the mom will utilize the pump at this speed and this suction setting until she gets milk let down, which is when she'll see milk fall into the bottles. Once there's milk let down, you need to slow the speed down. And just hold the down arrow. And then you would turn the suction up. It goes from one to 100%. The mom would find where she's comfortable and that's, that action stimulates the way a baby eats once they've stimulated letdown. And so it helps the pump mimic the way a baby normally eats to at the breast, which helps effectively empty the breast when pumping. So the mom would continue at this speed until, from, like I said, 15 to 20 minutes usually um, until her breasts are empty. And then once she's done, just turn the power off. You would disconnect your snappies, close the lids, label them per CHOA's policies, and then store them either in the breast milk freezer or fridge, depending on if it will be used um, or not. Um, so you just close the snappy and store it. The breast pump parts need to be washed after every use in the pink basin, not in the sink, using the soap that is in the areas with the pump supplies. It's either a Castile soap or a dish soap. Um, and then they must be set out to air dry on a clean towel. And then there will also be sterilization bags that are included in the pump supply bins. And moms need to sterilize their pump parts 
in that bag in the microwave that's in the lactation room once a day. If you have any questions about using the breast pump itself, you can contact any member of the Equipment and Technologies Committee or any member of the breastfeeding support team. Um, and if you have any questions about pumping, lactation, or um, the proper storage of breast milk, you can either refer to the policies or contact a member of the lactation department or the breastfeeding support team.